Hey everyone, I'm back with another interesting review and this time we have a bloody gun free mouse. Well, what makes it so special is that this mouse is supposed to have things like uh, no recoil and different shooting modes, rapid fire and what not. I don't even know exactly what this mouse has but it's supposed to be so called hacker's mouse and it's supposed to give you like huge advantages in the games I noticed this sticker in here that uh, option to buy uh, as you can see that's that's how it adjusts the aim it should automatically adjust get used to the recalls and stuff and it should um, give you advantages so let's uh, let's unbox this beast and see how it works well the box it's really nice, I really like this box, it's one of the nicest boxes I've seen there's many new uh, new products come with this uh, this kind of thing, so you can close it for example if you want to see the product in the shop you can just open it like this without ruining the package and you can also fit your hand on it and uh, feel the mouse how it would fit in your hand uh, I'm not going to replace my mouse with it I don't think so, I just wanted to uh, test this out I have currently uh, Cyborg Rat 7 also known as uh, Mad Cats but yeah this one uh, I don't think I'm gonna replace this and this also says that it has mouse sensitivity I mean not sensitivity but the delay to one millisecond and the normal mice have usually uh, about uh, 18 milliseconds that's what it said on the box in here uh, I don't know, normal gaming mice, they should have one millisecond, but yeah, I'm gonna unbox this. Uh, first we have a sticker in here, which um, should come off with ease, or not, I'm gonna just use some tiny knife, and uh, just poke a hole in here, and just open it up there, oh, and out slides the red, like blood, the mouse itself, a lot of stuff, oh something's falling out, okay that's empty so let's put this on the side well <laughs> bloody indeed <laughs> get two of these stickers a uh, lot of manual, wow that's nice software download so that's where you have to uh, go to download this uh, what we have on the other side, that's uh, in Chinese or something, uh, Taiwan, that's where they made it, Taiwan DW stuff for Taiwan. It was fairly uh, cheap actually this mouse. About three times cheaper than my um, Rat 7. Uh, the quality of this package it's amazing. Usually uh, Taiwan, Chinese, Japanese products they come with like just tiny leaflet and uh, with some complete crap which is completely useless but this one it seems very nice actually reminds me a little bit of uh, Razer which is pretty awesome look at these manuals, they have put a lot of work in these it's pretty, pretty awesome and what's this, that's like, this looks like a, what is this ZL5 sniper mouse I didn't even know they have so many of different ones as you can see uh, right Well, and let's open it up. It opens really easily. Just drop this off. Oh my god, look at this wire. Uh, let's just take it out. It's very easy. You just push it through from there. Let's take it from here. Very, very nice. I absolutely love the package. It's awesome. And here's the mouse itself. Uh, well, the build quality is amazing. I did not expect this. I really did not. For this money, I didn't expect that. Well, given the USB is red don't usually paint USBs but that's okay that's USB 2.0 I believe but yeah the mouse itself oh, looks pretty nice fits pretty nicely in my hand actually it's very similar to my RAT7 RAT7 uh, I have moved this piece as RAT7 is adjustable I adjust this bit a little bit further this rest in here so not used to it see I like to rest my hand from 
this point, see, so it's a bit too uh, short for my hand, that's how I'd like to hold it, not like this, but like this. And also it doesn't really have to rest in here, but it's it's pretty pretty comfortable to be honest. Um, it is quite comfortable. Fits in my hand, just as I said, a little bit short. And these are the modes in here, fire modes I believe. There's two buttons in here. That's nice. Uh, plastic rubberized. It's not rubberized, it's plastic. Uh, this does feel like uh, rubber, but it's not actually. It's plastic. It's plastic completely. But yeah, I'm gonna plug this mouse in and show you the light effects on this one. Uh, let's see how it lights up. But again, this build quality is absolutely amazing. Look at this, uh, these details with that thing. Tiny logo on it. They have put a lot of money in the packaging. Well, compared to the cheap stuff. I just don't like this kink in here. Hopefully it's not gonna too much. But yeah, that's the shielded cable, which has like, uh, it's, uh, it's the strong cable so it doesn't break so easily like the normal cables. But I'm just trying to get it long enough to plug it in. You ready? I'm gonna put the mouse so you can clearly see it. And I'm gonna plug it in. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Three, two, one. Well, the device is in. The lights are on, but it was on the wrong angle. Uh, that scroll wheel. I'm gonna turn the light off for a second. Look at that. That's how it looks like in the dark. Uh, it's pretty nice. Bloody gun free. Uh, well, the next step is um, I have exactly works. By the way, I can see my mouse working on my screen right now. Uh, I'd say it's yeah, it's about 3,600 TPI because my Rat 7 works on uh, 4,600 TPI at the moment. I have put it on 5,200, 5,600, whatever it was, and it's too fast on Windows, even if I turn it down. But by the feel of it, it's yeah, about 3,600, what they said. I didn't mention it before. Uh, let's see on the package, where does it say? How much is it? I think it was 3,600 or something like this. Not gonna spend too much on it. But yeah, I'm gonna download the software. It didn't come with a CD, as you noticed, which means you need um, you need to download. You need internet access for that to download the stuff. But it's plug and play, as I showed you. It works currently. I can move the mouse cursor on my monitor right now, so you don't have to download the drivers uh, in order to use it as a normal mouse. But if you want to use all the functionality, you have to install the software. And that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll come back to it and show you how it works. Right, here I am with the software for this, and it looks absolutely amazing, even though I haven't tried it. Well, I don't see why uh, people can't make such a software for any mouse. I don't know, maybe it's patent or something, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah... Let's check in here. You have to buy actually this stuff, or maybe you can find some kind of uh, <coughs> some kind of key thing for it to activate it. I don't know, but I want to try this out in a game. That's what I'm going to show you. Uh, the buttons you can uh, customize them. I forgot to show you uh, on the video that this uh, scroll thing it changes actually colors to green and yellow based on the profile buttons in here. And you can absolutely customize any button you want. As you can see, you can make them do anything you want. Uh, oops, what did I just do? Uh, right click, yes. <laughs> and if I apply, wait, that is right click, yes. And that's that's middle click, left click, yeah, le there is no left click, okay. And this is what I wanted to show you. It saves it actually in the mouse memory. Which is pretty awesome. I'll take this off. I don't need to know this anymore. So if you attach this mouse to another computer, it should have all the settings. This is pretty awesome. Uh, sensitivity. We can change this. You double click this button in here. And then the 
scroll wheel starts to blink real fast and then you uh, turn the mouse scroll either up or down and that's how you adjust this stuff. This should be a maximum, this should be somewhere in here. Uh, whoops. Right. And as you can see in here, I don't, that's not the TP, TPI rate, I don't know what, it, what these uh, CPI, TPI, I don't know. But it's definitely not 1600, it's about the same as my RAT7 now, as I adjusted it on the maximum. And we also have uh, Ultra Guns, uh, that's the sniper mode, I haven't done this yet, uh, <coughs> I will show you how it is. Uh, do, 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 do. This button is better. Oh my god, it has so many of them. Alright, let's go back and... No, it's still not working. What the hell is it doing? I didn't click apply, of course, of course, what I'm doing. No, it, me. Apply. Yeah, now it works. Uh, basically what it is, it's the same thing as my RAT7 has, which I absolutely like this function. Uh, I like it about here. Okay, I don't need to know this. Uh, if I hold this button down now, this one, if I hold it down, then it slows down the mouse movement, which is extremely good for sniping. That I that is very good. It just uh, slows your mouse movement as much as you want. The lower you go, the lower it uh, lowers it. Right now, it uh, slows it down 50%, and this is very good function. I absolutely like it uh, in my Rat7. But in RAT7 it has a specific button for it, which is not exactly where your thumb is, it's a little bit further away, so I have to a little bit stretch my thumb. But I still prefer RAT7 over this, but it's very comfortable. It's It really is. This mouse is absolutely comfortable and it's very, very smooth and nice. I really like this, the build and everything. It's awesome. But anyway, let's cut to the chase. What everyone's probably looking forward to is um, macros, you can do this. These are trials, I need to activate this first. And this is for Counter-Strike. I'm gonna actually go into game and I'm going to test this out. That's for AK-47, I'm gonna go into offline mode. You're not gonna get banned for this, I'm absolutely sure about it in this. Okay, I'm not absolutely sure because uh, these idiots in Valve they might think, ooh, let's add it to Blacklist. But this software does not interact with game. So, uh, VAC says that um, any software that uh, changes the DLL or the .exe files or interacts with them is uh, bannable. But this one does not. It's absolutely external. It has nothing to do with the game. It works even on your desktop. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into Counter-Strike and... I'm gonna test it out. I wanna see how it works. Well, I'm in CSS now, and I enabled the burst fire. And this is actually a lot better. This um, free shot burst. These are harmless spots because I'm just testing. I missed completely. See? That's amazing. And that's just one click what I do, like this. That's one click. I think I'm gonna actually use this, that's amazing. But the recoil thing, you have to adjust it. This is, uh, that's why I put this kind of resolution, because it's presets for this kind of resolution. And there he is. I'm playing with this shitty kind of resolution and I can hit the target very nicely from here. Uh, this burst fire definitely helps a lot. And I'll show you on the wall, for example, in here, if I shoot. Whoops. Look where the bullets are going. Only two off. Say these two are almost on the target. And it's like the he second shot is usually the headshot. See, and the third one goes a little bit higher in case you miss. See? That's, that's awesome, I have to say. The same with this one. I do not see them anymore. But look at that. That's automatic fire with a little delay. Okay, 
Uh, it's a little bit laggy on this resolution, I mean the window mode and recording and all that. Not using a game recorder, that's why it's a bit laggy and sluggish. But I do like it, I can just hold down the button. I think I'm gonna actually play a few sessions with uh, this today. And I can just quickly change the mode from automatic to semi-automatic. Where did that guy go? I wasn't even looking. But, yeah, it does work. I'm gonna quit this for now. Whoops, where I'm going? Wh what is going on? I want to get out of here. Okay, there we go. <coughs> but, yeah, it does work. You just have to adjust all this. All this, uh... A lot of stuff, <laughs> as you can see. You can see, uh, you can uh, adjust this. See, adjust offset. This is how much it recoils and bounces back. These are the shooting intervals, and that's the bounce back rate. How much it goes back. Whoops. So once you set all this correct for a specific gun, it will eliminate the uh, recoil. So here you have it. It will work, but setting it up well as you can see it's not working a bark if you can pull off the profile from someone for your resolution then yeah you can load the profiles in here as you can see you can uh, upload download uh, you can get a profile for it maybe then yeah but other than that you have to set it out set it up uh, manually test it in game and see just one by one just go up and down up and down and see uh, how much you need and also this um, uh, already, um, here already I'm not even sure what the strafe and machine is machine is uh, I think if you hold it down at all times and that's where it goes for example see the intervals how much they are I think you can adjust them nope in here and for example, if the recoil, well, obviously, if we shoot just three bullets, the three bullets are going pretty much uh, in the same place. But the more you shoot, the higher the recoil. So this helps you counter even that. So you can uh, adjust all from here. And when you shoot, the recoil is going to be perfectly still. And the strafe is also left and right. So it, uh, well, it does help a lot. But I'm not going to set it up now. That's going to probably take hours and hours to test it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just go play a few matches. Uh, and maybe I'll do another review and talk about this mouse a little bit. And see how it actually helps. But this is amazing that it uh, feels really nice in my hand. Usually when, uh, when you change the mouse, like uh, go to your friend's place or something. Then the mouse feels very uncomfortable and you're not used to it. But this one, I don't know, it kind of fits perfectly. It's like my Rat7, it just, it just fits in my hand perfectly. And the speed is about the same, so I can, I can use it in any game. I really like this, it's pretty awesome. But yeah, I will I will probably come back to this mouse, but that's it for now. And hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.